I want to apologize to you guys today. I want to say sorry to the world because I've been quiet for too long. I have seen this most incredible place that we call our home just being destroyed. And I don't know if it's a lack of love or the lack of direction or I don't know what's happening. I really don't know. I just feel, and I think a lot of you guys feel that change too in the last five years, 10 years, that something has just shifted. And I can't be quiet anymore because I've been quite a private person. I don't have social media. I don't have any personal platform to, <laughs> to market myself. I, I just love watching people and I've always been a watcher. I love observing. But I can't stay quiet any longer because what I'm seeing, I realize that I have a key to a lot of what people might be missing. And where is that key? That key is not in advice or selling you some courses or telling you what to do. No. It's in the shared experience of our stories. And what I've noticed that has been lost, and maybe because this is technology, maybe because of the way that social media and the way that the world has just changed how they communicate, Something got lost in their story. Telling is dying. This instant gratification of, let me see this, 60 seconds here, 90 seconds there, and oh wow, I had an experience to the next swipe, swipe, swipe. You know, but with all this swiping, I don't think people understand that we're literally swiping our memories. We're erasing quality experiences that people no longer want to be invested in having or just our conversation is too difficult to have or take too much effort or just contemplating too painful now. I don't know, but people are not talking the way they used to. And I'm almost 50. I'm closing in on half a century. So I've got a lot of stories. And yeah, they're, they're my stories. They're very personal. But at the same time, just like every mythology or legacy has some kind of archetypes, you can take something from every story that someone has to tell. Because we're all human and we share something that I feel like we've forgotten that we share. Maybe because <laughs> there are talking heads everywhere. Who do we believe? So when I made my channel originally, it wasn't actually to, to flex or to show off or to you know, say, hey, look where I am, or what am I doing? It was more of a way of creating a legacy for my children and my family to look back and say, wow, look what we did together. Look at all the fun we had. Look at the smiles. Look at the joy that we shared, and we did it together, and it wasn't in front of a screen. And that's the first reason I, I made those videos. And I added music because I really didn't have anything to say. I think there's something visceral that gets exchanged through a smile through a glance, through an emotion that just shows and vibrates through your body. And music for me is obviously the best way to show that. So for me, creating these like travel music videos is really fun and started off for my family and still they are truly for us. But I realized, hey, this is great. This feeling of this place or this city or this experience is so amazing. I want to share it. Why am I being greedy? You know, and that's why I'm apologizing, because I've been so greedy. I've been holding in so many amazing experiences, so many beautiful moments and synchronicities, just illuminations that the universe has shared with me, and I'm not sharing them with anybody. I mean, how selfish and greedy is that? And you know, when you're blessed, as I've been blessed, and I'm talking about simple things. I think sharing those blessings is the point of getting the blessings. So I made those videos to share those moments. And I realized, hey, you know what? They, these 
these music videos of mine, there's no language, there's no nationality, there's there's nothing very specific behind it. Anybody can enjoy it. And, and that's why I really shared them. Because I want you to feel what it feels like to be there. Because maybe you're too far away or maybe you just can't get there right now. But hey, who doesn't want to have a beer at Oktoberfest or see the bright lights of Paris or or swim in the warm Greek sea? And these are all amazing things that, that I've been blessed in, her, in being able to do and share with my loved ones. And then I realized that the, you guys are all my loved ones. Humanity. Everyone I meet, I see the universe in everyone's eyes. I see how we've all been put on this earth together as brothers and sisters, as friends, as lovers, as, as mothers and fathers and, and children. And there is something so beautiful in that. And it's in the joy that we share together. It's, it's in the connection between us that I believe like divinity and joy and beauty and, and happiness exist. And so those are the moments that I'm trying to capture. And I think I've succeeded in capturing a few times. And they still make me smile when I look back at it. You know, about that, I have no regrets. And... I wanted to clarify why am I sharing it because I had to clarify for myself actually. Why am I sharing this? Why am I putting my trips out there for everyone to see? Well, you know why? It's not about where I am. It's, a, it's about going somewhere and doing things that bring you happiness, that give you joy. And that could literally be a walk in the park or it could be to, I don't know, it could be going to Madrid or, or Buenos Aires or wherever you feel drawn. There's no difference, truly. If the sun is shining like it is today, um, you absorb that joy. And that joy is shared with people that you love the most, but it can be shared with anyone who's open to feeling that happiness and wanting that sun, sunlight and sunshine in their life. So that's why I shared those videos. I thought, you know what? I want everyone to walk beside me and feel that energy and vibe and, and excitement when you, when you walk into a new city, or you're seeing a new place and you're just in awe. And whether that be because of the people or the architecture or the smell of the food coming out of the cafes and whatever it is, that, that vibe that you feel, I want to share it because I feel like everyone deserves to be inspired in that way everyone needs to feel that excitement about seeing this beautiful earth this amazing place that we share that we call home i love life so much and every day i wake up and i thank the higher power for waking me for letting me have another day and for just witnessing this miracle that life is and that's what I want to share with you so when it comes to those music videos if you get a chance to check them out understand what I'm trying to share with you when I'm smiling into that camera or I'm you know joking around with my kids it's because I want to bring you into my world I want to take you with me and you know hopefully you have a few minutes to to take that journey if it interests you and it's fine if it doesn't but I want that to be put out there I want, I want, I wanted, I wanted to say it out loud and sometimes saying things out loud to the universe, to the world, to you, you are my world. It makes it real. It makes it, it just makes it, it, it makes it not just mine. I get to share it and you know, who wants to drink alone or eat alone? sharing that that nourishment and whether it comes from something you eat or drink or you see or feel your joy is doubled your happiness is doubled tripled the possibility to tr have true peace inside your soul is infinite it's as infinite as, and as this universe and i think that by limiting ourselves we keep ourselves in these tiny little dark bubbles and that's what I want to kind of pop. I want to 
welcome you into my world and I want to show you what I've seen with these with these old eyes <laughs> I've seen so much so many beautiful things that no matter how dark things get no matter where the world seems like it's going which most days is, does not seem like it's in a good place the beauty that I've seen and I'm talking about the beauty in people in nature in the interactions you have with others it gives me hope, you know, and I'm so, I'm so hopeful. And yes, hope does spring eternal. If you tap it, it really does. It's this power that comes through you. You know, it, it flows through you if you just let it. And, you know, that's, that's my point. I mean, I just want you to see the beauty that I see. And if I can succeed in just sharing that with one person, you know, then breaking my silence was worth it because I'm very grateful. I'm very grateful for your ears. I'm very grateful for your minds and just to be able to have this simpatico, this connection, this exchange is a miracle in itself. I mean, I'm sitting here in a small little village far, far away from where I was born and I'm able to talk to all of you wherever you are and sit beside you and muse and reminisce and and just smile smile at the beautiful things in life and take it slow just take that moment and say thank you thank you universe thank you sun thank you wind yeah and i'm not trying to be like oh, okay we've got some hippie vibes going on there no i'm just grateful when i look right now at the nature that's around me and I see the sky, and I feel the sun on my face. I mean, what more do I need? I'm truly content. And getting here has been such an incredible journey with so many amazing stories. I want to share them because these stories are not just my stories. These are all paths and adventures and, and journeys that I'm sure all of you take in your own special way. And if you find just something in common you know it it just shows the humanity that we share you know that we smile at the same things and find pleasure and joy in the same simple things and that's what i want to share with you guys you know when we travel and this is always for me it's always been linked to travel i've been traveling since i'm 20 years old so almost 30 years now and I had to ask myself, you know, why? Why do I love to travel? Why do I take that first step and, and look for foreign horizons? You know, and over the years at the beginning, you think, hey, I just want to have fun. I want to see something new. I just want to get out of here. Whatever, whatever the reason, traveling is as old as time. Humanity has always felt that urge, that nostalgia for some long lost place to find it, to see it, to see what's over that mountain, what's beyond that horizon, what is beyond that sea. And all, all of those, you know, all of those things that we push ourselves to see has, has moved humanity forward. That's why we're sitting here now pushing, you know, let's say metaphysical and, and existential, if not technological horizons. But that urge is what makes us human that nomadic impulse to, to go further. And that was always in me. I always looked, looked at the sky beyond the clouds and said, what is there? What is there waiting for me? Universe, tell me. I can't wait to find out. I can't wait to see. Because I know there's a story waiting for me. Being a part of that story has been so important in building my life and becoming who I am. You know, we travel, sometimes we say, oh, I just want to get lost. I just want to leave things behind. But for me, I realize that when I travel, I'm looking to put myself in a place that is so foreign to me, so different, unique, that the only commonality, the only familiar thing in that environment is me. And in that way, I'm able to feel myself and my edges more clearly. 
And I think that's why I recommend to every young person out there, doesn't matter how far you can go or where you go, but just go. Because you will feel yourself, you will know yourself, you will become yourself in ways that it's not possible if you stay in the same place. And I believe that inertia kills or it dampens the soul. You know, and I don't believe in coincidences at all. And I believe the words wonder and wander are so closely tied for a reason. Because as we roam the world and we, we wander around, not even sure what we're looking for, we in that process of wondering, encounter ourselves. And um, I think that is the most beautiful journey to take, is the one that leads back to you. And that's what I want you to find for yourself, whether it's through vicariously looking through my journeys, or listening to my travel stories because I have so many and as we get to know each other I will tell you some crazy 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 stuff just beautiful just beautiful and sometimes not so beautiful but the strength that we gain from from all the challenges and all the trips we take inside ourselves outside ourselves they lead us somewhere we're always going somewhere. We're moving towards something. And for many, that could be towards your higher power, your higher self. You know, but that movement is so important. And sometimes I think that's why time moves us. Because maybe if there wasn't time, we wouldn't move. Get too comfortable. But time moves us. And I think time has moved me. So I've already taken up enough of your time. So I want to thank you. And I hope you take a few gypsy travels with me and hear a few tales that I have to tell because I think I think there's something in it for you cheers guys